Okay, so question 55, leak code, jump game. So you're given an integer array nums, you're initially positioned at the array's first index, and each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position. Return true if you can reach the last index or false otherwise. So off the bat, it seems like a pretty straightforward question, but it's actually pretty tricky. So we have a nums array here, 23114, and it returns true because from the start, from this index here, index of zero, we can reach the last index because, so two can jump either to three or to one, three can jump all the way to four, one can jump to one and then to four. So it's gonna return true because we can start at the zeroth index and we can reach the last index. Now a second example returns false because three can jump to two, to one, to zero. Zero can't go any further. Two can jump to one or zero. Zero can't jump any further and one can only jump to zero, again, it cannot jump to four. So let's look at this problem. So we have a nums array here. Now you may be thinking to use like dynamic programming or something like that, but the solution isn't actually as complicated as dynamic programming because we can use a greedy algorithm. So a greedy algorithm, so a greedy algorithm is an algorithm that makes the locally optimal choices at each step in the hope of eventually reaching the global optimal solution. So what I mean by that is with this example, if we instead of looping through forwards and check to see whether this one reaches here, here, and so on and so forth, let's start at the end and work our way backwards. So we know that the target is equal to four because that's the index we're trying to get to. Now at this position, we can reach here. If we move back from this position, excluding all of this here, can we reach this index from this one position? Well, yes, we can, because if we just add one here, this is going to take us to this step. So we can essentially from this use a greedy algorithm and just update the target to three, because all we need to do is reach three from this starting position now, because this can reach the end position. So target is now equal to three. We move back again. Now from this position, excluding this, can we reach three from here? Again, we can, two plus one, is equal to three, right? So this position is going to go here. So we can update target to two. At this stage here, three can either go to one, one or four. So that definitely can get to this index here. So again, we can update the target to one. And then at this position here, we need to look whether we can reach index one from here. So it can go either here or it can go to this position. So we can reach index one. So we can just update the target to zero. Now in order to return a Boolean, we just need to return if target is equal to zero. And if it is, it'll return true. If it isn't, it'll return false. So say we have the second example. We know that the target is equal to four and we're just going to update that. So at this position, three and zero, can we reach this position here, excluding all of this? No, we can't because we only have a zero here. This can go nowhere. So we move back again. At two, can we reach the target of four? Because we haven't updated the target, the target stays is four, so we have to reach four from this position. This can only go here, so no, we cannot reach that either. Move back a step. Can this position reach the target? So from this position, we can only go to index two or index three. We cannot reach index four again. So moving back again, can this position reach this position. Again, we're going to have trouble because it can only reach two, one, and zero. So this cannot reach the last index either. So, so is target equal to zero? Nope. So it's going to return false. So time complexity here is O of n, where n is where we're looping through this nums array, where we have to traverse the entire array and we do so backwards. And then space is O1 constant space because we aren't allocating any extra space in this algorithm. So to code this out, there isn't much to it. We declare a target, which is nums.length minus one. So it's the last value. Then we loop through the array backwards. And here is where the greedy property is set. So if i plus nums at i is greater than or equal to target, then we can update the target to equal i. And then what that'll do is it will constantly update the target throughout the iteration of the nums array 
until we reach the last value. So nums at zero and we can return where target is equal to zero. So let's give this a run. Okay. And there you have it.